Hello, it's Days again, another paint shop tutorial. I'm going to show you how to add plugins and add directories to your current files. I'll tack on how to make sw swatches right afterward. Now, <clears throat> first off, plugins are generally an 8BF format. And when you start downloading filters and plugins, you're going to want to set up where you're going to be having all the files go. I suggest that you make new files for each set of plugins. And I suggest that you just put them into your PSP files, which is in the My Documents section after you install PaintShop. Practically all filter formats are in 8BF format. And PaintShop does run more formats, but generally 8BF is the most common format for filters. And there you go. A whole bunch of filters, all in 8BF formats. Now if you've created your folder and you've put the filters into the folder, we got to do the directories. <coughs> so you go to preferences file locations. And plugins. You can see here where I have multiple folders added into this directory. And you can add brushes and add other things into other directories for other stuff like I showed in another tutorial with the pictures and the gradients. Now after you've added the directory which holds your plugin, they will well, show up in your plugins. Now <clears throat> some plugins packs come with like installers and they just have to run a setup to install them but even after you do that, a lot of the time you'll still have to add the directory to your plugin section. Like up here, I have a plugin that I had to go through the My Programs folders and add along with these others. Even though they apparently installed themselves. <clears throat> and then they will immediately show up in your plugins. And there you have it. Some plugins happen immediately and you don't get like a menu screen or something, you just click the effect and it happens. But the better filters have a tendency to have their own like screen that you can use to change the settings of the filter. This is a zero graphics filter. <clears throat> it's a set of free filters. I don't know if this is still a website. Zerographics.co.uk because I got this a long time ago. But here you can see where you can just change up how the filter affects the picture and so on and so forth. And then you just OK it and then it'll change the image. Now <clears throat> the best set of plugins that you have to pay for is by a company called Alien Skin and it's very expensive and they have like a whole number of sets of plugins that work for Paint Shop and Adobe Photoshop and pretty much all the other art programs <coughs> but um you really don't need to go out of your way to buy a bunch of different filters because there are numerous 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 filters that are free all the ones I have are free and they do pretty much everything I need and there's still lots and lots of more free ones out there just Google filters for paint shop or Photoshop you can use plugins from Photoshop and other types of programs in paint shop pro for the most part I rarely come across a set of filters I can't use so <clears throat> that's how you do that Good luck filter hunting, guys. <clears throat> now I'm going to show you how to add swatches. Like over here in your materials, kind of just pick out colors. 
and you can pretty much down here use your mixer you can add that with the palettes and here you just lay down the paint you want to use <laughs> and now when you want to start mixing them just click on the knife and you can get different paint types you can keep adding over and over all different kinds of paint to it to get the different color you want just make sure that your paint blotch is big enough so when you drop it it fills up the entire swatch because if you do it real little you'll get like patterns of the paint grain in there and you want just the solid color to be for your swatch and you just drop it bring up the color add your swatches and then they'll be over here in your swatches forever and see like this right here how it's all mixed that was because I had just a small blotch of paint and when I clicked it it barred all the colors that's why you want to have it kind of big so it fills the entire thing see like if I get right here And that's how you do that. And trust me, you're going to want to mix lots and lots of colors because the default swatches table is very small. And you're going to want a lot of different colors. Good luck mixing skin tones, guys. <laughs>